Park. The shooting, fishing and hunting community has to work closely with the police. Firearm licences, rod licences and hunting within the law bring us all together. However, the countryside is full of rich pickings. Metal, machinery and animals are all unfair game, which is why rural crime squads exist all over the nation. Today we are out with officers from Kent Police and the Environment Agency on a joint operation in North Kent looking for people without a rod licence or who are poaching fish. Poaching fish in Kent is quite, is quite a big uh, issue. We're not looking at poaching at this particular uh, site here but uh, later on today we'll be looking for that sort of issue. Uh, but yeah, uh, Eastern European we hope to engage with uh, that community to, uh, in a sort of educational type of uh, term how we deal with things. The Environment Agency aren't often accompanied by the police but a recent attack here on one of the agency staff has provoked a stronger presence. These operations have also proved successful with intelligence gathering. In the past, some people questioned about a rod licence have actually been wanted for far more serious crimes. But there's none of that here today. We obviously have to deal with poaching. A lot of landowners are frustrated with uh, poachers going onto their land, uh, tearing up the crops and, and causing issues. Obviously, traditionally, it's been a sport with certain uh, persons within the society and it's illegal so we're cracking down on that. Being part of the wildlife crime team as well we get all the issues in relation to nesting bats, uh, destruction of habitat, birds, uh, it could be endless amount of different jobs we have to deal with. Our first few customers do have all the paperwork required even if they don't have it to hand. Agency staff like Ben can make a quick check over the phone. That's all right. We can phone that through. How are you doing it this morning? Yeah, all right? Got anything? Oh, did it? <laughs> our second lake delivers our first non-license holder. You haven't got one, have you? Oh dear. All right, yeah. This this chap will speak to you about that. Um, grab some details from you. Because it's an offence, I'm going to caution you at this stage. Okay? Yeah. You're not under arrest. You're free to leave at any time. It's just yeah. that basically to question you. I just need to basically caution you so yeah, you understand no your rights and everything. Yeah. Okay? People are uh, required to have a rod licence to fish uh, the waters and stuff and what we're tending to find is um, some people have got, uh, were just unaware that they needed a licence or that um, they were um, going fishing and uh, on the presumption that uh, licences would be provided. Uh, so it's a bit of an error on their part, but uh, we've recorded the, those facts and go from there, really. The case will be referred to the Environment Agency legal team and, depending on the circumstances, it could result in a fine or a caution. This guy says he thought his wife had sorted it out for him. Just to show the police's soft side, PC Frost has taken time to take a shot of the ducklings. Little ducklings here, a little orange one. A little orange one there. Country brilliant, file. brilliant. See, yeah. see, this is what it's all about. <laughs> country fire calendar, put it in there. See, I'm a loving, caring animal lover, me. That's enough, David, that's enough. <laughs> Today is not only about whether the anglers have a licence, but if they have enough licences. The more rods on the water, the more paperwork required. You think it's a good idea or a bad idea, us doing it? I think it's a good idea. Right. Yeah. It's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It should be checked. Well, you pay for yours, so well, why I'll shouldn't others? Well, because I'm a pensioner now. Right, OK. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. good idea, yeah. I mean, in the end of the day, you know, it all goes to a good cause, doesn't it? So, right. yeah. clean the waters up, rivers and things like that, yeah. so, yeah. Back at the cafe, we do a quick calculation, and the results are in. 39 people were checked, and out of the 39 that were checked, there's eight people that didn't have a licence. And there's varying reasons for not having a licence, but those matters are referred off the Environment Agency and then uh, in due course they'll probably just get a warning or they may get a fine depending on what they decide to do. Now from stop and search to a heist. Our last stop is known for fish poaching, but the guys we stop here are all up to date. Apart from this guy who spots us from the other bank and tries to get his licence online. Whether it is the slowness of 3G or the half hour wait before a licence is issued, he is too late and is given the bad news. It has been an interesting day. No one was done for keeping back a monster carp for the barbecue, but some were given a gentle reminder that it pays to get your rod license at the start of the season, or even a day ticket. Rod licenses are available at post offices and online at postoffice.co.uk slash rod fishing license.